Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Parallel Programming. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about the Parallel STL. So the Parallel STL provides us with parallel versions of many of our C++ STL algorithms. So these algorithms will have an extra overload that will take in one of these execution policies as an argument. And this execution policy will determine how this algorithm is parallelized. So with the sequence policy, uh, you can see here we have four different execution policies. So with the first, the sequence policy, the algorithm won't be parallelized. We have the parallel policy, which will try to parallelize the algorithm across threads. An unsequence policy, which will try to vectorize the algorithm. And then a parallel unsequence policy, which will try to perform vectorization as well as parallelization across threads. So let's take a look at a quick example here. So we'll compare the performance of a baseline std sort without these execution policies um, to parallel sort uh, using the parallel execution policy. So I'll be using GCC for these experiments. And if you want to use the parallel STL with GCC, you'll have to link against Intel's lib thread building blocks or LTBB. Okay, so let's take a look at serial sort. So this will be our baseline here. So you can see it's some fairly simple code. We'll create a vector of two to the 20 integers and we'll fill it with some random numbers between zero and 255. So this uniform random distribution here and then we'll go ahead and call std sort and we'll collect the start time and the finish time just with this helper function up top that calls uh, std chrono high resolution clock now. And then at the very end, we'll just print out the elapsed time in milliseconds. So let's collect some baseline numbers here for execution time to compare against. So we'll compile serial sort here with O3 optimizations enabled and we'll go ahead and run a.out and you can see we have an execution time somewhere on the order of, you know, 31, 32 milliseconds here. Okay, so those we'll just go ahead and say, you know, 31, 32 milliseconds as our baseline. So now let's look at the parallel STL here. So the parallel STL version of std sort, right, we'll just call uh, std sort. So the rest of our code will stay uh, pretty much the same. We'll create a vector of 2 to the 20 integers, fill it with a uniform random distribution of numbers between 0 and 255, and then we'll call, uh, just call std sort, except this time we'll pass in one of our execution policies. So this time std execution par, and this is coming from this header we're including up here uh, called execution. So here we'll be using the parallelized version of our std sort algorithm, and then we'll do the uh, same rest of our code, right? We'll click the start time and a finish time and print out the elapsed time in milliseconds at the end of execution. All right. So we'll quit out of here and now let's com uh, compile parallel sort. And again, this time we'll have to link against libthread building blocks. Um, so it'll use uh, Intel, uh, Intel's thread building blocks for the parallel STL with GCC. And then we'll need to use a C++ standard like uh, 20. So something like C++ 2A or C++ 17. So you can see these uh, execution policies are C++ 17 and later. Okay, so we'll go ahead and compile this and we'll go ahead and run a.out. And you can see now our execution time uh, is much lower. So somewhere on the order of you know, seven milliseconds, eight milliseconds, six milliseconds, maybe nine milliseconds, but somewhere on the order of say seven or eight milliseconds. So significantly faster without much more effort. And that's really the whole idea behind the parallel STL, right? We can get some free parallelization or vectorization uh, or some easy performance wins in our code without significant uh, or without having to significantly change your code or manually perform a whole lot of effort doing this parallelization or vectorization for common operations like sort. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it uh, for this episode. It's a brief introduction to the parallel STL in GCC. As always, all this code can be found at github.com slash copy before arch, in this case under the parallel programming repository. And as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.